fracture. So we have this fraction here and we want to decompose. So this one we can write in this form is, a, I'm sorry, this is equal, is a, a divided by V minus 1 plus a BV plus C is equal with a V square because here is a square. We write a, a whatever terms comes in the line, BV plus C uh, plus V square plus 2. So we can write in this form. And uh, hold this uh, equation, now we can uh, multiply by V minus 1 and V square plus 2. If we are multiplying everything, here is going to simplify V minus 1, V square plus 2 with this denominator, and here is going to remain just 1, is uh, equal. But if I multiply A with this uh, expression here, V minus 1 is going to simplify by V minus 1, is going to remain just uh, V square plus 2. And here I have a BV plus C. If I multiply it in this term here, BV plus C, then V square plus 2 is going to uh, simplify by V square plus 2, but what is going to remain by just a V minus 1. And now if we are... Uh, if we are distributing everything, 1 is going to be equal to the AV square plus 2A plus this one is going to be BV square minus BV and if I'm distributing C is going to be plus CV minus C. And I'm looking here to put whatever I have over the AV squares. So CV square I have here and here. I don't have any other. But in this side the square I don't have nothing so it's a zero. 0 is equal to the a uh, v square plus uh, b v square. And now I'm looking with the, BV, with, with the v's. I have a b v and c v, but here is a minus, okay? And But in this side I don't have any v, it's a 0. So I have a minus of b v and plus a c v. And now I'm looking here with, without uh, any variable. Here is a 1. And here I have 2a and is a minus c. Minus c. So this I have. But now if uh, we are uh, if we are multiplying every, if we are dividing everything by v here, what is gonna happen? V is gonna remain uh, a plus b, so v is going to disappear, a is equal to zero. And here if I uh, multiply everything, if I divide everything by v. If we, we are going to have a C minus a B is equal to 0. And the last one is in the way how it is. I'm not changing nothing. But this one here I want to solve for C. And C plus a C both sides it is, it is going to be C plus 1. And then minus 1 both sides C is going to be equal to the 2A uh, minus 1. So this is what is going to be C. And now in this equation here, in this system here, I'm going to plug in a C is equal to the 2A minus 1. And what do I have here? Instead of the C, I am plug here is the A plus B is equal to 0. And here instead of the C, I'm writing 2A minus 1 and is a minus B. If I want to solve the system, plus B minus B is a 0. And here I have a plus 2a is a 3a, minus 1 is equal to 0. So plus 1 both sides, and the 3a is going to be equal to 1. I divide by 3 everything, and a is going to be equal to 1 third. So this is what's going to be a. But on the other hand, I'm taking this equation here, a, and here is a, a plus b. So a plus b is equal to 0. But a is 1 over 3rd. 1 over 3rd plus b is equal to 0. I subtract both sides by, by a negative 1 over 3, with a minus 1 over 3 both sides, and b is going to be equal to the minus 1 over 3. So I have here minus 1 over 3. And now, if we are looking c here, c minus b. So let me take up a different color. c minus b is equal to 0. Plus b both sides, c is equal with b. But b already, no, is minus 1 over 3. And this, this is going to be minus 1 over 3. So c is equal with minus 1 over 3. 
Okay, this is what we have here. And now if we want this to write in this form what we have here. So, so this one, 1 over v minus 1 and v squared plus 2 is going to be equal. It was a, a divided by v minus 1, but I can write a is 1 over third time 1 over v minus 1. And the other hand, bv, b is a minus 1 over 3. So I can write here uh, minus 1 over 3 and is a v divided by v squared plus 2. And the other, the c is a minus 1 over 3. And here is a just 1 because it's not v anymore. It's a v squared plus 2. So that's how we can decompose this uh, partial fraction.